Black Mamba Boy is the story of my father. It's the story of a generation of Somali men who survived many, many different challenges. And it's a story that I think hasn't been told before. The book opens in Aden in 1935. My father was a street kid along with many other Somali children at the time. So he slept rough, he took whatever job he could get, he stole now and again I think. He was um, just running free. <laughs> the book is called Black Mamba Boy because it's, the, it's a translation of the nickname he was given by his mother. His, um, his mother had a snake pass over her stomach just before she gave birth to him and she took that as a sign. The inspiration behind the book was my father's extraordinary life. Um, I found it very late just how extraordinary it was. Um, I'd heard snippets from him from an early age of how he'd fought in the Second World War and how he'd um, worked from the age of six and how you know he'd crossed deserts and crossed seas by himself. I think my father's story encapsulates a certain experience and a certain time and place very well. There really are conversations that took place in a bus stop in 1947, but there are important parts of the plot that I've embellished and I've taken a seed from something that my father's told me and made it grow into something much bigger than it actually was. It was very precarious, but it was also the kind of life that people had in Greek myths or in, you know, Somali epic poetry, they just, you don't really have those kind of lives now, or at least I haven't had that kind of life. He had to make his own opportunities while I, I feel like I've, I've been lucky and, you know, he had a kind of a luck that helped him survive while I think I've had a different kind of luck where I've been able to thrive. The odds against him were so high but somehow he still always survived. I hope that people that read Black Mamba Boy will come away with an understanding of how life has changed so drastically for us as well as for people in completely different environments. I wanted to memorialise the lives of people like my father who are often written about but very rarely have their perspective represented and I think I wanted to do that as honestly as possible. <laughs> Ahla mina la